Hi guys, I hope you are all well. So before we move into kicking off the boot camp this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. when we go live for the first proper training session, I just thought it'd be helpful to do a little bit of a chat around the credentials of Ayurveda because I'm well aware there's probably lots of people in this boot camp who've signed up because they want to really get on top of their health, they want to really improve their energy, their vitality, their health, perhaps manage any pre-existing health problems, support their mental and emotional health, who perhaps don't know anything about Ayurveda, who are here because they want to get healthy but don't really know the means to achieve that, they're not too sure what Ayurveda is. And we'll be exploring this obviously in a lot more detail as, as the boot camp unfolds, but I just thought it'd be interesting just to, just to give a bit of an update, I suppose, in terms of where Ayurveda is now. What are the credentials of Ayurveda? What does Western evidence and Western research show about how and why Ayurveda is so effective? And generally speaking, I think in anything in life, things that don't work don't last, okay, in any, in any context. Things that don't work, they're very quickly phased out. And when we apply that to, to the arena of healthcare and medicine, we can see that. You know, why is it that bloodletting, you know, if you were the upper echelon of society, you were a royal or an aristocrat, you know, one of the few things you could afford 200 years ago was if you were sick, they did bloodletting. Doesn't work, no longer being done. Ayurveda, you know, is 5,000 years old. Okay, the first clinical treaties of Ayurveda go back 5,000 years and it has an unbroken history of use since that period. So yes, it's evolved and it's changed and it's modified, but as a system of medicine, it recognises the oldest systematically practised form of medicine. And to me, that speaks volumes. The fact that something has an unbroken lineage of use that goes back 5,000 years, um, one, that, that anecdotally attests to how effective it is. Okay, But I think maybe that's not enough. I think, I think in us living in the West, we often need a little bit more evidence than that. And that's one of the real beauties of Ayurveda now in the 21st century, because the volume of clinical trials, Western peer reviewed, published clinical trial, clinical study data to show how Ayurvedic approaches are so, so effective at preventing health and elevating health and managing diseases and treating diseases of mind and body. And we can, you know, there's loads of areas we could look at this. So we look at things like lifestyle practices, you know, from Ayurveda sprang yoga, sprang meditation, sprang massage, all of those clinically trialed, clinically proven to, to support physical health, immunity, uh, reduce inflammation, improve emotional health. So the lifestyle practices, things like circadian medicine so on sunday night we're going to talk the first ayurvedic ritual that we're going to talk about is something called restorative rhythm the importance of aligning our daily routine with the with the routine of the natural world around us in ayurveda something called dinachara um you know this won the nobel prize for medicine a couple of years ago 2018 this concept won the nobel prize the upper echelon of medical research you can't get a higher award and it wasn't one for a surgical intervention it wasn't one for a drug trial it was one for lifestyle medicine it was one by looking at the effects of our circadian rhythm on supporting immunity on its anti-cancer benefits, its anti-Alzheimer benefits, its anti-heart disease benefits, looking at how our circadian rhythm is in absolutely instrumental in keeping us fit and healthy. And if you look at how that correlates to Ayurveda, it's saying the same thing. We've got to be getting up at the right time, eating at the right time, going to bed at the right time, looking at herbal medicines, hundreds and hundreds of clinical trials looking at the effects of Ayurvedic herbal medicines in every arena of health. Um, the dietary protocols of Ayurveda likewise, likewise. So, you know, what this collective pool of research is showing is that the Ayurvedic approach to health, the Ayurvedic understanding of health, the way that Ayurveda cultivates and supports health and treats illness is one time tested, two evidence based, three effective and four endorsed by the World Health Organization. You know, the WHO, the leading global body on health, they, they recognize Ayurveda as being a clinically effective and safe 
form of healthcare that supports a very large percentage of the world's population. And for me personally, having lived it for decades, I can't imagine my life with Ayurveda. I don't think, I think my body, my mind wouldn't be where it is now. I wouldn't be as healthy and as happy as I am now without Ayurveda. You know, we've worked clinically with Ayurveda for almost 15 years and I've seen it transform the life of thousands of people. So yeah, it works. It works. The evidence shows it works. And I, the aim of this boot camp is to, is to allow it to transform your life in the way that I've seen it transform mine and thousands of others. So super excited. Let's, let's create a movement. Let's create an Ayurvedic revolution, an Ayurvedic movement where we help people to just transform their life, to take control of their life via Ayurveda. This boot camp is about that. So get your friends, get your families, get anyone you care about to join so we can all be in this together um, and and make the most of this 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 week.